Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm so excited to give you a post review of the Kami Yi Gift Store's Deep Forest Deer as a 40 by 50 centimeter diamond painting with square drills. So before we look at the finished product, I'd like to just go over a few little details on this sheet right here. So if you can see it, hopefully you can. It was ordered on August 31st, shipped September 14th, and delivered to my house on September 17th. I started it on November the 1st and completed it on the 14th. Um, so for the unboxing, I didn't have this kind of review information or sheet yet. So because of the shipping time, uh, it was very good but the packaging was terrible, so I docked it half a point. The canvas had a lot of puckering and rivers, and you can see the wrinkles that are still in the canvas that wouldn't come out. So I gave it half a point, uh, which is generous, I think, and I'll get into that later. The drills, yeah, they, they had a lot of tabs. I didn't know that at the time, but Anyway, with the unboxing, I gave that half a point. The symbols were clear and the design was excellent, so I gave it a three and a half out of five. Now, let's have a look, shall we? Are you ready? I need a drum roll. Here we go. Let's see if you can see that. So, <clears throat> is it shining? And you see how pretty and shiny it is? It is lovely. And I love that kind of shimmer instead of the sparkle. I really do. I love it. It's just beautiful. It looks like a watercolor or something. So excuse my washi tape. Um, but this, like I said, is a 40 by 50. And it's a full square drill painting. I got it on AliExpress and it didn't take too long now this is a gift for someone which kind of put me under pressure sorry for knocking you there so anyhow because of the bubbling and the deep rivers that were all over uh i'm gonna have trouble showing you on this side but there are wrinkles within the this side of the painting um which caused quite a bit of bubbling, like here in the bottom corner. Let's see if I can move it up. I'm afraid you're not gonna see it. Can you see how, can you see how it is folded almost there? That's where the pucker was. So um, I started in the top left corner and worked my way down in three strips like this. Sorry, move it back. So I started at the top and moved down on each piece. I started first trying one color at a time. So I placed down all of the darker browns first, but I realized that it's just, it's just too big of a canvas to do that. And I have a dog that sheds like crazy in the winter. So I don't recommend doing that if you do have a dog like me, but um, anyhow, I started in sections, so I took each third of the canvas and I cut it into thirds, basically, and worked on a third at a time. Each third, say a square, maybe about yay big, would take a good solid maybe three hours, four hours, something like that. And I'll tell you why. So I have a clip that I'm going to insert here and hopefully I can do it while my voice is still talking, where you can see how many raised drills they are, and that was all in this section of the painting. So it doesn't even come close to how many are here, and I can still feel them even though I've rolled them out. I've rolled this with a rolling pin, so theoretically it should be flat, but they're still popping. So, because I, this is a disclaimer, not a brag, 
because I'm going to the States in a few days, I don't want to use aqua glue or anything like that. I don't have any anyway, but I, I wouldn't use that sealant because I have to roll it up to, to bring it with me. Do you know what I mean? But I'm so afraid that I'm going to lose these drills. So what I did was this came, if you watch the unboxing, which I'll, I'll link up here, you'll see that, or any of the drill with me's actually, you'll see that they came in the little single packets, um, the drills did. So what I did is I moved them into these little baggies. I ordered these baggies from Wish. They were free, just pay shipping. Um, and they're tiny. So they fit just perfectly with my drills, as you can see here. So I've labeled them the way that they were labeled in my other system. Just so that when I get over there, I can, if, if I have any popping drills, it'll be no problem because I'll be able to just grab these drills and replace them on the canvas. Speaking of drills, do you want to see how many bad ones there were? Because this isn't all of them. I mean, I didn't go through picking through every single drill either. These are all the bad drills. Look at them. I'm going to try to move them so that you can really see them. So we've got most of them have excess on them. Can you see how that's misshapen? It looks like a piece of toast <laughs> instead of a square. I've got round drills. Um, I've got pieces of junk. I've got a dog hair or two in there too. Some that are stuck together like this one. So what happened was they overfilled the little resin holders and they just didn't use quality control I'm guessing. So what I did, it was only a few colors in when I contacted the seller and I was like listen <laughs> there's way too many popping drills on this what am I gonna do what are you gonna do and they said if you just choose the best I'll, I'll put the picture here maybe over there basically saying choose the best drills out of each color and if you run out of that color we'll replace it well that's fine if it's not a gift for somebody for Christmas you know what I mean this is time sensitive I only just finished this yesterday was it yesterday or this morning maybe it was this morning sorry and that what is today the 13th 14th I'm leaving on the 18th so I don't have much time I'm, I can't wait for the seller, you know what I mean? So I, I'm just looking for the drills that I was really close on running out of, which was actually quite a few colors. So a lot of these, like, look at that, loads of the 740, which is beautiful, uh, loads of 919, but there were some, okay, here's the one. M. This is 726. Look at that. I only have what? 3, 6, 9, 12, 14, 16, 17 drills. Oh my God. I was really, really holding my breath on this color. And there are a few others like that. The J. The J was the worst. 902, right? So I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because of the glare and because they're dark. But these were the worst drills out of the whole painting. These are one of the ones that I put down first. They're kind of this burgundy color within the stag. And I'll show you that in a second. Maybe I'll unclip you. Hang on, two seconds, I'll do it now. Okay, so, oh, it's way too bright, hang on. Okay, so here you go. So that burgundy red color is the J color. Is it focusing? There we go. So that burgundy red color is the J. And that's the one that just keeps popping up all the time. So yeah, guys, like it was just kind of painful sometimes. Autofocus. Sorry. But overall, like, look at, oh, sorry, that's my charger, two seconds. 
But yeah, look at this shine. And sparkle. Like, so pretty. And I can only imagine, you know, my grandma is old fashioned and I, I'm sure that you know somebody who would like to have a painting like this or might even have a painting like this in their house. But can you imagine doing it up in in diamonds like this? I think it's so beautiful. Let me put you back on the tripod. Okay, so yeah, it was, I, in my post review, I said that for canvas, it says here, bubbles slipping or not sticking. I gave it an extremely difficult zero because I had to fight. Let me zoom in here again. I had to fight the whole time up and down rivers, the glue coming up into like a mountain, like a ridge all along. And you can, well, you, I can see it from here. There's like one here and there. There's another one over here, and then right up here as well. And the the diamonds, they don't want to lay flat because the ridge is pushing one up. Like I can see it here as well. Do you know what I mean? So it's not just the drills because I was super careful during the day when I worked on this to only choose drills that would fit in the square so without any overages I was super careful but then at night when I'd work on this in front of the TV or something I couldn't see all that well so I'm sure there's some areas that are worse than others and my I'm not OCD but like I really want them all to stick down right as we all would so there's a part of me that wants to go back because I have two more days before I have to leave and just take out all the ones that are just too big and try to find ones that are smaller within the little baggies, right? So that's the plan. Now, uh, for diamonds, quality and quantity, I probably, oh, it's still not out of focusing. I said just enough and I gave it a point because I wanted to, I really shouldn't though. I really shouldn't. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me know what you think. I thought that this, this painting was super difficult and the challenges I said I'd explain. So basically, I spent longer than normal working on this painting because of the drill issue. Like this is a 40 by 50 and I'm I don't think I've ever had this much on a on a painting before uh, as far as bad drills go like that that's an extraordinary amount of bad drills that cannot be used there is only one or two rogue beads in there so that's not the problem the problem is that they don't fit right right but it also made it kind of stressful instead of being relaxing or enjoyable like I found the Darth Vader one which I'll link up here Darth Vader was really fun and it went by quickly and even though there was tons of confetti it still was fun to work on and Sherlock Holmes I kind of after a little while I was kind of sick of it but I think we get that way with bigger paintings anyway do you know what I mean? So I'm not going to fault it. But for this one, it was just like, oh my God, what am I going to, what am I going to run into tonight? And, um, you know, there were instances where I would just go into the drills, like for this color. Come on, focus. Thank you. Um, they, they put in like, this is hard to explain, but sometimes I would have that Sorry, I don't know what happened there. So basically, yeah, there were there were instances where I'd get drills and they would just be a pain in the you-know-what to work with, which made the whole process difficult. So um, I gave it half a point because of all the challenges. And the end result, though, really does kind of justify all the problems that I had. 
So, you know, it is beautiful. It looks great in the camera. You can see all the detail of the trees and the leaves. The stags look way better from far away, obviously. If you come up closer, I'll try to do that. Hang on, we're gonna move. So when we get closer and closer, you can kind of see, or hopefully you can see, their faces are kind of abstract and just dots, you know? Obviously, I mean, this is diamond painting, okay? So it's not like, it's not gonna be an actual painting with like real details and all that. But um, when I was working on it, I thought that, sorry, I'm just gonna move you a little bit more. Okay, I'm done now. So I thought that this, and this deer, these two deer, and this one here, like, it looks like they don't actually have a face when you're as close as I am, but in the, in the viewfinder, it looks amazing. So, I really love the end result. Now, overall, with everything counted up, as you can see in the sheet again, here, sorry, now, all the light, you can see there, I gave it a final score of 6 out of 10. I would not really recommend it, but... Then again, if the Kami gift store has changed their manufacturer for drills, then it would be enjoyable and it would be a totally different experience and it would have a perfect score. If they also, if they package this in a box, which they should have done because it's a 40 by 50 and not a 30 by 40 or less, then the rivers and the bubbles wouldn't have happened. None of this would have happened. So if anybody is watching from that store, I would recommend doing what other stores do and putting it in a box. You could put it around a foam roller. You could even roll it around the drills. It doesn't matter. As long as the drills are all right and the canvas is in good condition when you send it out, then, you know, yeah, rant over. So anyhow, I am super excited to frame this and give this to my grandma for Christmas. And if you're interested in seeing something like that, please let me know down below and hopefully I can get her reaction on camera. But otherwise, I just want to say thanks again so much for watching. I want to give you another sparkly shot. It just looks so good from here. Check it out. Yeah. Beautiful picture, gorgeous colors, and I have to say it was a joy to do this in the autumn while the leaves are changing. It really got me in the spirit. <laughs> and listening to all of your other YouTubers out there doing like the, the sweater weather tag and everything, it really got me in the spirit. So now I'm ready for Christmas. <laughs> so yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching and thank you for subscribing or being subscribed. I really appreciate it. We just hit over 300 subscribers and I can't tell you how happy that makes me just knowing that there are people out there that are so supportive that they want to watch me ramble on about these things but yeah guys um i'm thinking about doing a giveaway when i hit 500 i don't know how i'm gonna do it because i live in ireland and most of you live in north america so um i'll figure something out but yeah i look forward to a video about that hopefully by christmas at the rate we're going at so yeah, guys, thank you so much. I look forward to seeing your videos or comments, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.